What's up everybody, it's your boy Duty back again. I decided I'm gonna take a few minutes and clip our boy doing his segment, gorging with the pig. I mean, gorging with Phil or whatever you wanna call it. So as you guys know, he decided that uh, he was gonna go on the cheap today. You know, he can't really uh, go all out because apparently he doesn't have any money. He hasn't been getting any tips. So he decided why not let's do Dairy Queen and shove that nasty fast food down his throat. Mind you, don't forget, this would be the second time he ate out. You know, he always he always wants to say he only has one meal a, one meal out a, a week, just one. And it just seems like every week it's more and more. It's two and three. We all know the truth. We know he door dashes every meal anyway. So let's get into it. It is time for DSP tries. I've not done one of these in a long time because we have a new series over the last year that I've done called feasting with the king but for it's all the benefit, same crap it's him buying food and shoving it down his throat only, i would return to fast food in order to see what's going on because i haven't eaten fast food in, in years obviously years since i've eaten it last uh that's a lie he um, took cat for her birthday no, you know, several months ago to burger king let's not forget it was like once a week thing i used to do um and then it kind of fell out of favor i didn't want to do it anymore you know but Today we're doing a marathon, something different. I'm starving. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we are returning to Dairy Queen. I have not eaten at Dairy Queen in a million years. I couldn't even tell you the last time I ate there. I'm pretty okay. sure you probably ate there like two months ago. Here in Washington State, I've probably done several DSP tries episodes on Dairy Queen and the various products they've had. Today we're doing kind of a tour of Dairy Queen because I haven't been there in so long. So we have multiple things. We have number one, a chili cheese. Oh. God, a chili cheese dog that appears to be so saturated with chili. Look at the box. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> oh, that's always a good starter sign when the box is completely saturated with what's supposed to be inside of it. Oh, uh, great. I'm afraid to open it. Chili cheese dog. All right. Then we have the flamethrower burger. I only got a single. You can get this double or triple, but being that we got so much other food, I just got the single flamethrower burger. Okay. And then we got... They call this a basket. It's really a box of the honey barbecue tossed tenders, but it's also supposed to have toast and fries with it. Okay. So, you know what? I've never had this before, I don't think. So this is actually what I like to open up with first, okay? So let's go ahead and un undo four piece, by the way, because you have a choice of four or six pieces. Um. Well, immediately I can tell you there's a problem. They did not give me any utensils at all, but these are the tenders that are covered in barbecue sauce. How am I supposed to eat that if you didn't give me a fork to stick it with? Right? So I have to go downstairs and get a fork. Yes, exactly. You take your lazy ass downstairs and get a fork. It's not that deep. Okay. Um here, I'm glad I'm, I'm glad I grabbed a plate. I did this on purpose. Okay. I wanted to separate out the stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to put the fries in a bowl. Alright. Put them in a bowl on the side so I can get to the tender. Here, let's try a fry. Wow. Wow. That fry is absolutely bland as shit. It's terrible. <laughs> There's no seasoning whatsoever on it. It tastes like no It's like air. That was one of the worst fries I think I've ever had. <laughs> it was absolutely bad. Wow. Soggy. Gross. <laughs> that is really significantly bad. Wow. So I'm going to try to get the fries out. Oh, by the way, I, I don't understand this buttered toast. Buttered toast in my my chicken tenders basket. Sure, I'll put it over here. I'll probably have some later, but here, have some bland, disgusting fries. 
Wow. Oh, they're quite poor. No kidding. Those, they taste the same as the fries that you get in the grocery store frozen. And you try to bake them, but they never come out. I can't right. stand when he eats exactly and talks. Shut your mouth, eat your food, and then talk. You can you can pause for two seconds. That one has some of the barbecue on it. I still can't taste it. All right, so. So here's the problem with a basket, which it's not. It's a box. I knew this would happen. Look at the fries. They stuck to the tenders. The tenders are saturated with sticky sauce, and all the fries are stuck to them now. Like, did they not think that would happen? Did you think the fries would magically separate themselves from sticky chicken tenders in a box like this? Like, I don't understand the company itself doing this. Just put the, the fries in a little thing on the side. Or put it in a little bag and put it in the box so they're separate. Why would you fucking toss it on top of the chicken like that and not expect it's going to stick to the chicken? That's dumb. They're terrible. Okay. Um, I am going to get a fork. I'll be right back. I'm just going to grab a fork very quickly from downstairs so I can eat that without getting my entire hands covered in the sauce. And I'll see if they're any good. And then we're going to try everything else. All right? Give me a second. I apologize. Obviously, here I'm thinking they're going to put stuff in the bag so you can eat it. What a foolish notion. That fast food place in 2022 would put the things in the bag so you can eat the food. I'll be right back. I love how he expects fast food to be like this gourmet, premier, uh, perfection, delicious food. It's fast food, Pip. It's going to be something made quick thrown in a bag or in a box and you know you pay for what you get you pay for what you get so i it just astounds me every time where you know he he's surprised it's like oh my god i i, I didn't know this exists i don't i didn't know what, okay, what, what do i do what do i do he gets so confused all right i'm interested in these tenders i hope that they, they taste good Certainly the fries are something to be desired. All right. So here's what I'll do. And another thing, it took you, what, 20, 30 minutes or whatever it was to go pick it up. And it's going to get cold by the time you grab them, take them to your house. They're going to be cold. Well, they actually give me extra. I have five tenders. I only ordered four. Bonus, I guess. I ordered four. They gave me five. I think there's a, it's supposed to be a four piece or a six piece. So either way, they got it. Screwed, they screwed it up, right? <laughs> either way. Okay. Um, put this over here. So I got some on my hand now. All right. So Derek says, here's the things I've gotten from Dairy Queen in the past. The baked bur turkey BLT sandwich. And then it scrolls off the fucking screen. Baked turkey BLT sandwich, a chili cheese dog, Jurassic World smash blizzard, bruschetta chicken sandwich baked, grill burger, and flamethrower burger. So some of the stuff today we've done, this we have not. We've never done these tenders at all, okay? By the way, they don't have any of those other things, like the turkey sandwich and the, the chicken bake or whatever it was. They don't have any of that anymore. That's, you know, limited time stuff. Okay. Here's the ranch sauce. Build it all the way to the top. So I'll put that inside the, ba the, the basket. Yeah, the basket, my ass. The box. Um. All right. And we're going to try to eat this now. Emphasis on try. Attempt. Okay. So. Chicken tenders, as you can see, stuck to fries. Chicken tenders tossed in a supposed to be a sweet honey barbecue sauce with ranch dipping sauce. First, I'll just try the tender itself. Mm. 
Yeah, smack your lips like a horse. God. It's actually not bad, but it's not good. It's a little smoky. The barbecue and tangy as well. It's not sweet. It's tangy and smoky, not sweet, a sweet barbecue at all. Um, the breading actually has some pretty good flavor to it. I can't really taste the chicken because of everything else. I'll take another bite. Mind you, I'm, actually not bad. It's I'm, okay. I'm hearing this video actually, in professional bad. quality headphones, and I, I hear every like smack, yet, every bite, freezer, every crunch out of his disgusting mouth. And the flavor of the breading is actually good. So I'm actually not disappointed. They're actually not that bad. Um, let's try it with the ranch sauce. Ooh. The buttermilk ranch. I taste the buttermilk. It's not half bad. It's certainly not good, but it's not half bad. It's better than I thought it was going to be. off this piece I like the tenders I'm not gonna shit on something I like the tenders are not bad at all the the fries are atrociously bad they're soggy no crispiness to them at all Flavorless on the inside. No seasoning on the outside. Oh, not even crispy at all. Stale. He makes everything look so oh, unpleasant. Terrible. I'm Wait. glad I ate before I watched this because I wouldn't have eaten. I wouldn't have been the able to eat my food. Bad. But the tenders are good. So that's good. I'm going to eat more of those for sure. But we have lots of other stuff to have. Um, but those are good. So that's at least one thing I know I'm going to like. cool okay i've had the flamethrower burger in the past on dsp tries it but this is a bacon on this burger i didn't even know they were supposed to have that many pieces of bacon on the burger that's a crazy amount i mean the lettuce is there's no way okay fast food 101 lettuce like this never gets into the customer's mouth there's no way it will ever stay on that sandwich when you pick it up and bite it. It's going to come off the sandwich and fly everywhere. Half the time, it doesn't even get into the customer's hand. All right? If you're going to serve lettuce like this, just don't serve lettuce. Really. And I don't care what company you McDonald's, Burger King, Dairy Queen. Just don't. Just, you don't need lettuce then. Don't put it on. You're wasting money. That's food cost wasted. That will never be eaten by a customer. If you're going to have a giant big piece of lettuce on there that holds in place, then do it. Or just don't bother. Stop wasting your own cost. This is an operational cost that could be reduced if you're not going to try. Okay? And then he would complain that they didn't give him lettuce so, and that the company's being cheap. Of course, he'd have to write a letter to the CEO complaining was, that he wants all of the money back because they didn't the give him a piece of lettuce. The really good. But outside of that, it looks like a huge mess. You know? It's supposed to have a lot of this fiery sauce on it. it it's a like fast it food it burger. Okay. And another thing, why is he buying multiple things? Just try so, one stupid thing. Yourself, Order one thing and then that's it. Why are you getting a burger, chicken tenders, fries, and other this? stuff? It's just so it's such a waste. Change. It's like six fifty for this fucking burger. This burger is six fifty. I'm not kidding. I didn't exaggerate. That's the price. Okay? Well, I got a little bit of the sauce on my finger. I'm I'm sorry for showing you that. Just uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. Tang and spice. No actual other flavor. Just tang and spice. No creaminess. No way. Too hard to grill, cook bacon on a grill at, at a fast food place, I guess. You can get this up to a you can do a double or a triple. Typically, I think it comes as a double. But like I said. Having so much here, there was no way I was going to have a double or a triple. 
The flavor is not bad, all right? The, the spiciness comes through with that sauce. It's very strong. And they actually do char their burgers a little bit. They have a little bit of a char flavoring on the burger. That's not bad at all. Um, you taste a lot of bacon. I hate that the bacon was chewy. I wish it was crispy, but it's chewy. And you get a little bit of the acidity of the tomato when you bite into it. So let's try it again. Mute your mic. Mute your mic. Not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Kind of like the tenders. I'm not going to complain. Of the spiciness of the sauce. Woo! It's spicy, man. I, I hope it's got flares on. Seriously. It doesn't taste that, but it doesn't taste half bad. I wish it was less than six bucks, but... Oh, it's soggy. The whole container is soggy when I touch it. Oh! All right, this wants to be the hot dog you ordered. So he ordered chicken, hamburger, fries, and a hot dog. Why? Why? And then you talk about wasting money or stuff is expensive or you're broke. You must have spent over $30 just on that. And that's not even what you bought for cat, which is probably another $30. Oh, my God. That's way worse than I thought it was going to look. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, America, fuck yeah! And, and you're gonna eat it like the pig you are. Out of the bunghole. <laughs> like, how do I? All's gonna happen. It's gonna, it's gonna stab the hot dog. Oh, okay, I actually ripped off a piece of the hot dog. See that? I get some bun, I guess, and some of the chili on there. The hot dog is good. The hot dog beef is good. It's flavorful. It's it's you can tell it's a beef hot dog. It's not a pork or chicken hot dog. It's beef. You can always tell the difference in the flavor. It's actually a really good tasty hot dog. Yeah, what did you just say a minute ago? Eating poop out of your bunghole Probably or whatever it was. You disgusting fellow. shit about it and made it inedible. To pick up with your hands, which is the purpose of a hot dog. A hot dog. God, he complains so so much. Finger food or hand food, portable food. You can't eat that like you can't eat this like that. It's good. Mmm. I really hope he gets gout. Look at the, a, look at the, a bad gout flare up. Right? But when I actually stab it to eat it like this, it's actually, it's good. Chicken strips basket. Well, it was better when it was warm. Alright, fellas. I can't do anymore. I think, I, what I got, I'm up to 18 minutes, so I think I suffered enough. I, I suffered enough to bring you guys content. I apologize if um, if this video makes you lose your appetite. Um, I'm really sorry, but I, you know me, I have to chronicle. I have to chronicle my boy DSP and everything that he does. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Peace out.